We noticed at about six months that Aurora had stopped um, hitting her milestones. So she'd stopped doing some of the things you expect babies to be doing, um, like the rolling over and sitting up. So I approached the health visitor about it. We eventually got a diagnosis when she was 15 months of evolving cerebral palsy. And what that means is that um, when a child is very young, it still will take a while for the full extent of the condition to manifest itself because there are different types of cerebral palsy, but at that point they don't know what type it's gonna turn into. So in order to be able to kind of fund all of the things that we're, all the additional things that we're doing for Aurora, because obviously NHS is brilliant, but there are additional therapies and equipment and things that will aid her development and progression that aren't covered by the NHS. Um, so we're doing various different fundraising events and activities. One of those things is an aerobathon, which was actually an idea suggested by Joni B, mm -hmm. who is a fitness evangelist. So an aerobicathon, or an aerobathon, whatever you want to call it, is um, a great idea to raise funds. Um, anybody can get involved. We will be um, providing aerobics from 10 o'clock in the morning straight through to about 4, 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, however, within that five or six hour period, you can choose whatever exercise workout you want to do. We've invited various instructors, um, Adventist instructors, non-Adventist instructors are coming in, and they'll all be doing different workouts. So they'll vary from, um, we have a Come Dancing Fit Step instructor coming in, so she's coming from the, you know, the BBC One Come Dancing competition. So she's a trained instructor with that. So the, the workout will be those kinds of moves, the waltz and this and different kinds of um, genres of um, <coughs> dance throughout the, throughout the years. That's a really fun workout. We will be doing the latest um, belly blast workout that we just launched in the UK, um, January 2015. Um, so we'll be doing that as well. Um, we'll have Zumba, we'll have kickboxing. So there'll be a fantastic schedule with lots of things going on and people can choose what they want to do. Now super fit people might say, you know what, I'm going to get there from 10 o'clock and I'm going to work out as, as much as I can all, all through. And some people will pick and choose um, what they want to do. But if you're not working out, there's lots of other things that we're mm -hmm. going to have there as well. We're going to have competitions, things with kids, face painting, hula hoop competitions, skill auctions, lots of things are going to be going on. There'll be stalls, great food from really, really well-known chefs. Um, <clears throat> and we won't say who yet. Um, and the food will be really, really reasonable. So, um, yeah, that's what the aerobicathon is. And all the money will go towards um, this fund. Now, um, th we ha we'll have a specific cost that you, you'll come in with, you'll pay at the door and you'll get a free t-shirt, you'll get all the water you need, we'll keep you going. We've got health professionals um, on board as well, so it'll be a great, great day. But you'll hear more about it oh, you'll, um, as we go along, we're going to send stuff to the churches and we're also going to put the website which you're going to mm -hmm. talk about as well. Okay, the skills auction really is for people who feel that they don't really want to do the aerobathon, mm -hmm. but um, and it's even for the spectators because we're going to have spectators and they, there's things for them to do. So for those sort of people, they can auction themselves, and the way they'll do that is if they have a particular <coughs> skill, um, maybe somebody's good at plaiting hair, or whatever. So they could auction themselves to the highest bidder, or they could do it as say like just have five people who feel that um, they want their hair done and so they can she can the person can give them a price and when they've done the hair then that money can be used towards um, the fundraising for Aurora. Well we do have a website and the website is www.rootforrory.org.uk and on the website you'll find information um, about what the campaign is all about. Um, there's, also, there's also some information on there about what we're actually raising funds for, like right now. Uh, you'll also find a page on there for the Aerobathon, which will include a schedule of what's happening on the day, um, a form for you to sign up to it, 
and also uh, mm. there's a very detailed um, question and answer section on there as well which will be able to hopefully answer mm. any questions that people have. Uh, there's also a page for uh, the skills auction. Um, there's, there's actually two skills auctions. There's one that's coming up on the 31st of January, which will be held at Stoke Newington SDA Church. Um, and so the, at the moment, the sign has got everything that's available in that auction on there. Um, so you'll be able to go there, look at a list of what's available. Um, we're hoping to actually open up online bidding maybe a week before so that people who can't attend Stoke Newington can still get involved. And then once that auction's happened, we'll then put up the information on what we've got available for the auction at the Aerobathon as well. But um, yeah, if, we, if on the website there's hopefully all the information that anyone could need about the campaign. Uh, there's a form for people to ask questions or just to say hi on there. And we also have Twitter, a uh, Twitter account, which is at Root for Rory. And so people can follow us on Twitter or send messages of support or anything like that. Um, if anyone feels impressed to give donations they can donate online through the website um, if they'd rather kind of give a check or donate in person uh, they can send us a message to the site or if they attend kind of any of the churches where any of us go and they see us they can give an envelope or anything like that